Welcome to Magic Adding Strat. I'm Dan. This is uh, Sasa Vegeta. That guy. Oh. And he's uh, winning 4 0 from the daily on the 28th. Uh, Grey Merchant MBC deck. Uh, there are some choices in this deck that look weird to me and might be because he didn't have the cards. But I'm gonna play the list exactly as is. I am aware of the Oubliette bug. And I hope it doesn't affect the game. I do not own all the cards. Uh, okay. I think I need to make it a local text deck then. And then try to load it again. Version 3. Pretty bad. Uh, Grey Merchant Embassy. Yeah, now it worked. Makes sense, doesn't it? But I'm not getting a table. There we are. So, Sasa Vegeta 4.0 daily, 28th October. I'll include a link in the show notes. And my opponent is Poppy. Poppy? Poopy sounds bad. Poppy. I'll go with Poppy. Poppy? That sounds bad too. Why is this card in the deck, for example? That's an anti affinity card, maybe? Something that gets rid of 4 force for 2 mana? Like uh, sort of everything does. Okay, we're not gonna dead weight him. White Weenie. Chris Weaver was complaining about White Weenie. And uh, maybe it was because he played Mono Black Control against it. I don't know. I'll talk to him tomorrow on Competitive Popcast when we catch up to all the stuff we missed. I don't like main, des duress, main deck duress in Pauper and I'll show you why in a second. Probably when I don't hit anything. Well... <sighs> I can't get that because it's not a creature. And I get rid of Holiday, Main Deck Holiday. That's even worse than Main Deck Dress. But I want to know that there are Dress targets before I Main Deck Dress. And most decks don't have one. The rest, for example, I think is pretty bad against Delver. And definitely bad against a lot of aggro decks. That's why we don't main deck the rest in Trinket. We did when Storm was everywhere. Felt like a ninja pose, but I'm sure it wasn't. So we take the damage and sign the blood. Because we have to find a land. Or maybe something else. What's sh going to show up? A Sky Hunter, that looks like a prime target for dead weight. But uh, we need to not miss land drops here, but we are not going to miss this land drop, right? Because uh, we haven't dropped the land yet, and we have a land here. Why do you have a stop in my upkeep if you're really slow? Uh, so I think we are going to dead weight that guy. And be done. And then we're gonna sign him blood. Mr. Bodyguard, Mr. Javelinier. So I have only 22 lands, but my deck rely entirely on 4 5 drops. Hmm. Well, I do have some card draw 4 Ragers, 4 Signing Bloods. He should definitely remove the stop in my upkeep. Uh, okay, so we sign in blood. Pretty rough. What? He 
He clicked on the benevolent bodyguard before his attack phase. So then I can kill the Javelinier with my Victim of Night, trying to survive. Witches. Which is hold the fort. More witches. Do I want to shoot these guys? I probably do. Yeah, shoot the javelin here. Javelinier must die! As must the Razor Golem. Okay, so we took care of that guy and we can take care of the Razor Golem. Do we take care of the Razor Golem now to prevent any shenanigans? I think we do. Wow. Uh, Poppy, you should probably practice. Okay, look have to look that up. I go to I can't move it, I have different resolutions on the screens, so you won't download now. Uh. Uh, well, finally, but I do have to kill that uh, thing. And we are actually killing you too.
This deck does feel powerful, but... Oh wait, it has to resolve? <laughs> and then we kill that thing. And we're done for the turn. Keeping his board free from stuff. And I think we are in control. Loyal Cathar will be a trouble, but not too much. Uh, Guardian of the Guild Pact, easily killed. Journey to Nowhere, doesn't matter, our creatures are not important. Only our survival, because we are the control in this matchup. I obviously doesn't know how to remove the stop in his upkeep. Is that the fault? Uh, I play the Baron Moore. And the Rager. So now we have tendrils for three. And I think I'm attacking. So Obliat is really bad compared to Journey. Except now that it's bugged, but it does provide devotion for Mr. Grey Merchant. Who is not gracing us with his presence. Uh, oh, it's Mr. Skyfisher! It's a prime target for tendrils, right? Okay. Ah, clever. Well, uh, maybe I should use Victim of Night, actually. Uh, well, maybe we should uh, use the Obliet, then. text on that card is really crazy. And then I have um, Verdict Mana. <laughs> and the Grey Merchant will hit for a ton. Like a ton of bricks. Well, it must be better to use the Victim of Night here to kill him. <laughs> Stupid witches, not the fastest clock ever. I don't need to hit him with corrupt yet. So where is this grey merchant guy I hear so much about? Actually, Yeah, we are pretty good. Nothing is threatening us, we can just keep coming. Am I being greedy here? I don't think so. 
I also have two damage here, so I have eight damage. I think I'm killing a creature with tendrils instead of uh, verdict, just to be sure that I can protect myself from uh, the guardian of the guild pact. Who will show up now? No, it's Mr. Skyfisher. And what is he going to do? He's probably going to return. Uh, uh, planes to his hand! It will be so exciting! I think it is very important to be nice to new players then. So they stay, so you have an opponent, so there is more players that feed wizards, so they like Magic Online, because I would hate Magic Online to go away. Uh, so please be nice to new players. That's the cue to kill the Skyfisher. And then the bodyguard just dies to witches. And all is well in the evil land of darkness. Maybe we just ignore the bodyguard. Or verdict him. So tempting. But what if he top decks to... Ah. Okay, so what's not good against... Against him? I think the rest is pretty bad. Devour flesh is better. What about the rest of the cards? This is pretty much the... Uh, What we are built to destroy, right? One corrupt could be a shrivel. We don't need shrivels, do we? There's nothing the victim of night doesn't hit. Well, Obliat is bugged, so he probably should not have to run into that. So we are going for more shrivels then. So he doesn't become bothered by the bug and think that Magic Online is crap. God, I'm so responsible today. Check this out, 965 subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I want to go to uh, 1000 subscribers. That would be sweet. 300,000 views. Okay, Poppy, let's do this again. There's one more deck I want to try out. Tonight, uh, that's Perilous Affinity. Uh, this is Mulligan, right? It's also Mulligan. And this is not. But now I'm in trouble. Wow, mono black control is number one in the Oh, Grey Merchant! Nice, what the hell is he wearing? W what is he? He looks so strange. But he has a bag of stuff and some flowing robes. Uh, well, I hope there's not the Guardian of the Guild Pack later on because this. This guy hunter is going to fall to the verdict. Could have waited with that, of course, uh, so he could equip a bone splitter and spend some mana on that. Pretty bad play for me. 
And now if he has a Guardian of the Guild Pact... Oh! Misalandrop! Sweet! I need devotion guys, like chittering rats. I do need a land too, so land or something with a lot of devotion. Okay, I got the land, thank you. But Grey Merchant for two feels pretty bad. Hmm. Now you dump like three benevolent bodyguards. That's what I want to see. Stuff with one toughness. That's three mana, it's probably not. Oh god, that guy has more than one toughness. But Grey Merchant actually blocks him. And now chittering rats, please. Or something. Devour flesh. Well. Why are we not running four? Why are we not running only devotion based removal such as Obliet and Deadweight? We sh looks like we should try to maximize um, the removal. Oh, the devotion. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Here is Devour Flesh. I think this guy might actually be running Devour Flesh uh, intentionally over Diabolic Edict just because he's afraid of burn. Which has been suggested to me and Trinket. But uh, you don't really want to give 20 lives to Delver Fiend or Hexproof. That could become relevant. But burn is now number 4 in the metagame. Delver Fiend is fifth. Uh, and here we are. Do we cast the Grey Merchant yet? I don't think we do. We look for more stuff. But we find nothing. So next turn we might have to cast it. Something else happens. It's the Guardian of the Guild Pact finally! And that will be a problem. Wow, tendrils for a million. I really want some devotion for this Grey Merchant. But people are just not devoted to <laughs> my creatures, just not devoted. But I only run 15 creatures and 2 Obliates and 3 Deadweights. So I shouldn't expect giant uh, devotion counts, right? Or 
Already used two sacrifice effects that didn't hit the Guardian of the Guild Pact. Hmm. Oh, Loyal Cathar as well. Then it's time to get the blocker online. He's gonna do six damage to me. Unless I play the, the Grey Merchant. But there is Chittering Rats. So I will play it. And I will definitely not block. But then I take two extra damage from the Cathar, so it really didn't do a whole lot. Did increase my devotion count on further Grey Merchants though. Well, Shrivel feels really bad. Whoa! Wow, that's not good, is it? Well, I don't care about his life total. I care about mine. And it's going down quickly. Witches should be good now. Because then I can actually cast them. Cycle. Victim of Night. But that's for next turn. So I can Victim of Night uh, the Sky Hunter. Ooh, that's bad. Or oh, do I actually have to victim of night the loyal Cathar? And then I have Shrivel for the Eidolon and the, oh, that's probably good. So I can kill you. Victim of Night, the Loyal Cathar. Oh, he returns at the end. It's pretty bad, actually. Because then I have to block him. Shrivel, not impressed. I would rather have Corrupt here, I think. High score on the shrivel, though that does not matter a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna replace two shrivels with uh, uh, with two corrupt. So let's say life link does happen immediately, right? So I do. S no, he he has life link. I don't have life link. Hello. I'm a genius. Okay, there's still a theoretic chance I live if I draw a verdict. But I do not. And we bring in the corrupts. 
Oh, a dwarf flesh. Still in the sideboard. And we take out the shrivels like that. Okay, this is better. Play it. Linear. Need to roll lands. Lands is what we want now. Oh, and shittering rats. Shittering rats we like. Now don't journey him or her or them. Cute tops. Uh, because we need them for devotion. But of course they will get journeyed here. Not much to do about that. No, it's not a journey. It's great. So we immediately kill the Javelinier so that there will be no shenanigans. Anytime you can kill something without spending a card, it's fantastic. Ah, he did target me this time. We play the Phyrexian Rager, the Shittering Rats. And then we can unearth the Shittering Rats. But we actually do need to find land. So I think we are going for the land. For the Rager, that is. And then maybe unearthing the blocking and unearthing the raider to draw more cards. That sounds like a plan. God damn it, Razor Golem, you are so big. Come on and attack now. My plan is based on you attacking. Okay, we're gonna have so much devotion, but. Uh, Totally other problems. Ah. Uh, well, that sort of solves the. No, I am on our thing. The Rager, trying to find that elusive land. And I am um, devouring or dead waiting? Probably devouring because I don't want him to be a protection. The, then he could sacrifice him to devour flesh later, so the extra devotion doesn't seem worth it. I hope he finishes in time here. Javelin here. Seems like a really bad play when witches are on the field. But we need to focus on the land drops now. We're going to crush him so hard if we get the Grey Merchants going. So we will cast a Rager here. Kill the Javelin here. Okay, we're casting the Rager first. Trying to find a normal land. We do not, so we play this. Oh, 
We're gonna have a lot of devotion. I think we're pretty good here actually. And I don't think we're blocking this golem. Grey Merchant will hit for 6 now. But he will hit for 9 if we cast Chittering Rats dead weight. So that is very tempting. Well, yes then. So we shoot nothing. We deadweight him. Swing with the ragers. Maybe that was unnecessary. But at least we have eight devotion for the Grey Merchant now, so I think we are doing good. Good. This will be brutal. Grey Merchant Asphodel, changing the face of Pauper. Yeah, I want to cast the other one too. Ah, I got attack. This is really brutal. The next one will have... It will have the 10. I will kill him with... I will actually kill him, right? <laughs> oh, that's just sick. Okay, I see now why people like Grey Merchant. Oh, I already knew that from the standard poker tournaments, but this card is, it's like Delver Secrets, it's affecting every format. Alright, 
Thank you for watching. Grey Merchant Vasfodel. Pretty huge. And uh, for the record then, I haven't played Trinket against this deck. And I think uh, the reason that Trinket has fallen from the fifth place in the meta to now actually being completely off the list. It was 12th yesterday. I think it might be because of Grey Merchant. Thank you for watching. You saw how I, you remember how I beat Sneak Attack Kid in the uh, Academy Showdown uh, when he didn't play Grey Merchant.